Watch this. Two complete strangers discover they both think pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. Within seconds, they're laughing, leaning in, making eye contact. Now watch this. Same two people, but this time one loves pineapple pizza. Suddenly there's tension, crossed arms, a step backward. What just happened? In less than 30 seconds, their brains made a fundamental decision, friend or foe. And it all came down to pizza toppings. Your brain has a secret obsession, finding people who see the world exactly like you do. And when it finds them, something magical happens. Instant alliance, immediate trust, automatic liking. But when it encounters someone with a different perspective, your brain doesn't just disagree, it literally hurts. The experiment. Solomon Ash's famous line experiment revealed something disturbing about human nature. Show people an obvious answer, which line matches the target, but surround them with actors giving the wrong answer. What happens? Picture yourself in that room. The first person confidently says line C, wrong but okay. The second person, line C, your stomach tightens. Third person, line C, fourth, fifth, sixth, all saying the same wrong answer. Now it's your turn, and your eyes are screaming, line A. Here's what neuroscientist Gregory Burns discovered when he put people in fMRI scanners during this exact scenario. The moment you realize everyone disagrees with you, your anterior cingulate cortex explodes with activity. This is the same brain region that fires when you burn your hand on a stove. Your brain is processing social disagreement as literal physical pain. What it means. But here's the beautiful part about agreement. When you find someone who shares your perspective, your brains don't just think alike, they literally sync up. Mirror neurons start firing in harmony. Your neural oscillations align. It's like two musicians finding the same rhythm. This synchronization triggers an immediate cascade. Dopamine floods your reward system. Oxytocin, the bonding hormone, gets released and your brain stamps this person with an invisible label, Ali. Within milliseconds, you like them more, trust them more, even think they're more attractive. All because they see that optical illusion the same way you do. But disagreement? It's the opposite cascade. Stress hormones spike. Your amygdala, the brain's alarm system, starts screaming threat. Your prefrontal cortex, the rational part, gets hijacked. Suddenly, this person isn't just wrong about climate change or politics, they feel dangerous. Your ancient brain is treating their different perspective like a saber-toothed tiger. Real-world application. This explains why we love echo chambers. They feel like warm hugs for our brains. Everyone agrees. Everyone's synchronized. Everyone's safe. But here's the paradox. Those different perspectives that feel so threatening? They're actually our greatest asset. Every breakthrough in human history came from someone seeing the world differently. Every innovation, every scientific discovery, every work of art that moved us, it all started with someone brave enough to say, what if we're looking at this wrong? The trick is recognizing when your brain is in threat mode. When you feel that instant dislike, that urge to dismiss someone, pause. Ask yourself, is this person actually dangerous or are they just seeing something I'm not? Because the moment you get curious instead of defensive, something incredible happens. Your brain switches from threat detection to learning mode. So here's your challenge. The next time someone disagrees with you, really disagrees, in a way that makes your skin crawl, remember that feeling isn't about them. It's about your brain's ancient wiring trying to keep you safe in a world that no longer exists. But you have a superpower your ancestors didn't. You can choose curiosity over conflict. You can ask, help me see what you're seeing. Because maybe, just maybe, they're looking at the same pizza from a completely different angle. And that angle might just change everything.